Hey guys, welcome back to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, I have a tip for entering MIDI notes faster. So first let's look at kind of the problem we're trying to solve here. So if I click in this area here, wherever I click in here, that's gonna set the velocity. So if I enter a note here, that's at 43. If I click here, now that's at 127. If I just double click to enter a note and then change the velocity, and then go to my next note, it's going to copy that. And so if I want one that's low and one high, it's it gets pretty tedious to have to change the velocity so frequently. Setting the level over here or by dragging the velocity handle over here. The goal of this is to have four keys on my keyboard that inserts a note of a different velocity. So we're gonna set up some custom actions and one of the things we need is part of the repack extension. It's a script from Xframe. So we're just gonna type in Xframe, that's X-R-A-Y-M, and then we'll type in velocity. What we're looking for is Xframe set selected notes velocity to 100.eel. So we're gonna double click this to go to its about page, then click on contents, select the script, right click, and locate in explorer slash finder. This brings up the original script location on my hard drive, and we're just going to duplicate this, and we'll edit this copy in a plain text editor. So we're just gonna modify this. Uh, let's do this one at max velocity, so 127. I'm gonna change the rescript title, as well as this number right here, VEL equals 100. We're just gonna change that to 127. Hit save, close, and we'll just rename this to 127. Let's duplicate that again modify this with its new name, and we'll set up a medium velocity option. So let's say, I don't know, uh, 76. Some sort of, you know, middle of the range velocity. Uh, double click to edit this. 76 and VEL equals 76. And we'll do one more, duplicating again, and we'll do one much lower velocity. So let's say like, uh, I don't know, 34. All right, so back into Reaper, bringing up the action list, going to the MIDI editor section, clicking on load, and we want to grab these modified scripts. I'm just going to add those three. So now we have four different velocity levels that we can assign to keyboard shortcuts. So now let's make some custom actions that use that specific velocity and applies it to a note that we insert under the mouse. Let's give this a name. So um, insert note under mouse. Um, let's do max velocity. Now we're going to search for unselect all. It's right here, edit unselect all. That's just going to unselect any of the notes that may have already been selected because when you insert a note in the MIDI editor, it will select it automatically. I'm gonna search for insert mouse and we've got edit insert note at mouse cursor. And then we want the um, 127, set selected notes velocity to 127. Consolidate, undo, and hit okay. Now we're gonna copy this, take the copy, edit. Now let's change this to our high velocity. And we're looking for 100, and set selected notes velocity to 100. We'll just remove that 127, and there we go. That's two of them. So I'm gonna repeat this for the other two velocities, and we'll jump ahead. Okay, so now I have four different velocities. I've got medium, 
low, high, and max. And I'll just assign these to different keys. So my max velocity, I'm probably gonna want that on key number one, so add one. I'll go to high velocity, add two. Medium velocity will be on three. And low velocity will be on four. Let's go into this MIDI editor and try this out. Okay, so I've got my max velocity on uh, key number one. And so let's just go through this, inserting you know, some notes here to make a beat. So this works well when the mouse cursor is just to the right of the, um, the grid line. Uh, I'm gonna do a max velocity on the first beat. Let's just put that in there on beats, uh, on bars one and two. I'll do a high velocity on beat two and four and a medium velocity on beat three and uh, the 16th note before the end of the bar. Okay, so let's just repeat that. So I'm pressing two and just make sure that that is in the right line. Uh, two, three, uh, two, and three. Let's hear that. And let's put in the closed hi-hat. We're just gonna kind of alternate between uh, two and three here. So let's do two, two, three, two, 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 three, two, two, two. I'll repeat that for the second bar. Just nudge that over. Let's put in a high velocity symbol. Let's put in some claves in this. So um, I'm gonna do three and four. And the snares, I want a, um, let's do high, vo uh, high velocity and then max velocity. So uh, beat two will be a high velocity and beat four will be a max velocity. And let's get the clap in there doing the exact same thing. So pressing two here, one here, two and one. And let's play that back. So pretty quick to enter those notes. Um, I'm still getting used to that number pattern, um, but I think that's a lot quicker. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm actually gonna put a link to the scripts and the custom actions that I made uh, so that you can get going with this a little bit faster and you don't have to rebuild those custom actions from scratch. Uh, hopefully that's helpful for you. And uh, let me know if you, in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.